We already know how to use tool calling and iterative searches over a Chroma collection to build context for an agent. Agentic memory lets us save and reuse those results across multiple runs. This saves costs on LLM interactions, personalizes user experience, and improves agent performance. You've probably encountered memory in chatbots. ChatGPT, for example, remembers facts about you between sessions. So if I ask ChatGPT, how can I write an array of user names and descriptions in Rust? I can see that ChatGPT mentions here things that we discussed in previous conversations. For example, the fact that I'm a massive Swifty and that I work at Chroma and build a vector database. When we're building agents, we can use the same technique, persist data from the agent run itself that can be leveraged in the future. What might we save from an agent run? We can save facts about users or processes. If a user mentions that they work in marketing and need quarterly reports, we can remember that saving up a clarification step in the future. We can store instructions that can help a model do a better job at tool calling. These are procedural patterns like if the user says x, call y. We can also persist previous agent artifacts that can be useful, successful query plans, expensive computations, or search results. And these type of memory records map nicely into the plan, execute, evaluate architecture we discussed previously. During planning, we can get examples of previous successful plans or facts about the process the agent is trying to solve. These can help the agent break down the user query into the optimal query plan. During execution, retrieve procedural instructions to guide tool selection. During evaluation, extract new memories from what just happened. Did the plan work? What made it successful? Evaluation becomes memory writing. Memory also helps when context overflows. Context compaction summarizes early conversation details to fit token limits, but can be lossy. With memory, the agent can look up specific earlier interactions that didn't survive compaction. What is memory in practice? It's just another Chroma collection, and we can write a simple interface for an agent to interact with. We can have methods that retrieve memories for each phase of our agent run and inject them into the appropriate prompts. We can also expose tools to search over the memory collection. Our memory writing strategy should be guided by how we want the agent to access those memories. This can include classifying memory types and consolidating new memories with existing ones. Let's see a small demo. An obvious way to leverage memory in an AI application is by having an agent remember user instructions for tool calling. On the Chroma Cookbooks repo, we prepared a small example for an inbox processing agent. It asks the user for instructions on how to process different emails and persist them into memory for future runs. This project leverages the same harness we used for the agentic search project, but with the omission of the planning phase. Each step of our query plan here is just the processing of one email. We also prepared a sample data set on Chroma Cloud mocking an engineer's personal inbox. You can load it when creating a database on the Chroma Cloud dashboard. Let's see it in action. I'll cd into the agentic memory project and run pnpm cli dev. At this point, the agent grabs all the email records that have the unread metadata field set to true. It will try to fetch processing instructions from its memory collection, which is initially empty. If it can't find an instruction relevant to the current email, it will ask me for input. So over here, it found an email from Jeff, who is my boss. So I can say, Jeff is my boss, flag all emails I get from him. And we can see it called the flag tool. And moving on to the next email. This time, I got some marketing email from Notion. Uh, I'm not interested in that, so I'm going to say uh, I want to mark all marketing emails as read and archive them. And we can see that both tools got called, the memory getting updated, and we get a nice summary from the agent. Let's check out the memory collection. We can see that the agent extracted these two rules from the current run in the if then pattern. Let's find another email and set it to unread and see how the agent performs. 
So I'm going to go to the personal inbox collection, and maybe let's find another marketing email. So I'm going to choose semantic search and search for marketing. And there's a new post from Lenny's newsletter over here. That's sort of marketing. So let's set it to unread and have the agent run again. So again, pnpm CLI dev. And at this point, it looks like it skipped the email from Jeff that I left unread and flagged. It's looking for instructions for the second email that we just set to unread. And we see the email from Jeff was already flagged, no further action. The email from Substack was marked as read and archived because it was identified as a marketing email. Great. You can get this project in our cookbooks repo and the sample data when creating a new database on Chroma Cloud. Try modifying the agent's prompts, running with different models, and adjusting the memory logic to see how it performs. Even with the simple memory setup, you can build a powerful AI application. We can't wait to see what you build.